Oh. The Powerball jackpot is over a billion dollars, everybody. You know what the lottery is? I've never played the lottery ever. That's because you understand that it is a tax on people who are bad at math. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. And threads. Thank you to RW Sports on Patreon. Follow us with your Twitter account and subscribe to the like button. That's right. Yeah, you have a you are 25,000 times more likely to hit a hole in one than you are to ever win the lottery. And 95% of people who win the lottery blow the money within five years because they don't know what to do with the money. I would like to win the lottery, though. I just don't play. Yeah. <laughs> so the chances are low. Well, your chances are just that much less than everybody else. True. Yeah. Uh, and congr- Today we're doing... What happened? Oh, congratulations no. to India. And it might be 9 a.m. here, but we're drinking because it's somewhere else. It's somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a great shirt. It's somewhere else, somewhere. The, uh, it, uh, unbeknownst to me, in whiskey news, uh, India, the Indian whiskey... Injury, which we're we're in, not. I guess it, I let, guess Andrani made this one. Let uh, here's what I got to tell you. Stupid family, beautiful stupid babies. How could you? How could you do this to us? How could you not let us know about what Corbin is about to say? Uh, fun fact. Um, how? I'd never even heard of this one. Exactly. And I, when and I we've t- been to India t- and, and had different kinds of alcohol. When I told people, like when I post about it on Twitter. No one had, like, there was not one person that was like, oh, this is really good, because they had never had it before. Is it because this is for the hoity-toities? I don't know. It's, so, so like, 55 bucks here. Well, not that's, a, that's, expen- that's, that's freaking insane. But, like, here it's not, though. No, here, that's, that's like a, a mid-range. quality mid-range, mid-range beverage. Mid-range whiskey. Obviously, I don't know what that would equate to what it would be in. I can tell you. You want to know? Uh, but it, it wouldn't be the same price, because there's an import tax here, so. True. But that's roughly 4,000 rupees. Yeah. I don't know. That's so insane. You guys have to let us know. But it, so it, that's it, probably why. If a Indian whiskey won, and I was just kidding about being disappointed. The um, <laughs> world's best whiskey. World's best whiskey. I'm gonna try it. And I of looked course. It up. I didn't have a lot of hope, but I looked it up, and it was at a store, like it was Total Wine and More, right down the road. And so, so we got it. I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 9 a.m. here, folks. And I was like, ah, we'll just do a review. But that makes it 9.30 p.m. because we haven't fallen back but in India. So while, it's drinking time. While I get it ready, I want you to read this for me real quick. Okay. This little article. <clears throat> An Indian whiskey has been crowned the world's best whiskey. The Indri Diwali Collector's Edition 2023 has been awarded as the best whiskey in the world at the Whiskies of the World Awards. This accolade marks a milestone in the global recognition of Indian whiskies with the Indri Diwali Collector's Edition 2023 outshining hundreds of renowned brands from around the world. <laughs> Did I get it on your nose? Yeah, that's keep, right. Keep going. The This Indian single malt beat international brands, including Scotch, Bourbon, Canadian, Australian, and British single malts. The Indri Diwali Collector's Edition 2023 is a product of Piccadilly Distilleries. Say that ten times fast. A company that has consistently demonstrated its commitment to quality and brewing things in the nude. And innovation in the whiskey industry. It was awarded the double gold best in show. From smoky whispers, just like in the bedroom, to a symphony of flavors... Just like in the bedroom. It's a masterpiece that's now reached the pinnacle of recognition with the best in show. Double gold award at Whiskies of the World Awards 2023. This Diwali. Let the celebration begin with a dram of this limited Diwali collector's edition. The caption of the Instagram post shared by the company. The award winning whiskey is crafted in the Himalayan or Himalayan, if you prefer. Foothills using six roll barley hand picked in Rajasthan and fresh glacier water and the sweat of Nawazuddin Siddiqui's left foot from the Yamuna River. It is then aged in Pedro Pascal's pants, which imparts a dark amber hue (laughs) and sweet currant like notes to the whiskey. And so, probably why it won. Pedro is very popular these days. So, also, this might not be a correct assessment either, because this is not the 2023 Collector's Edition. Ah. It is the single malt, 
So it's it's the same. It's, I, I wonder. Do you think single malts ever get married? I don't know. Um, so if the, if the, this was like this bottle wasn't available, but I don't know if it's a different whiskey. Either, At though. first blush, I appreciate the peacock. Yeah, I like it the peacock. Actually, looks Japanese. I think that's just the like the bottle they came out with this year because it's the same single malt one. Because this it's is a different bottle. Different bottle, but it's yeah. single malt. All right. So we'll drink it. I it love, has a nice amber hue. It has a good smell. Not to, to it. be confused with Amber Heard. It has a good smell to it. Does not smell like Amber Heard. No, it smells like a whiskey though. That's good. That's a that's a good intro to the world's best whiskey. That it would smell like a whiskey. It's good. It does have a smoky. It does have it. a nice smoky smell. Not as not as smoky as a Lagavulin, which is a, a, a what a Lagavulin. I've given you some of it. It's Lagavulin. Like Lagavulin. Okay. It's what, it's what um, Ron Swanson and Parks and Rec drink. Oh, it literally tastes like a campfire. Your mom tastes like a campfire. Salute. Slouch. Ooh. That has some really interesting notes to it, actually. That's There's a lot going on there. That's really... That's really, really tasty. Really, really nice. It doesn't sting too bad. It's got... It's got a smooth flavor, but also interesting, like... Like, a, there's a lot going on. A lot going on, and it's really balanced. There isn't any one thing that is singularly standing out. It's, it's a little smoky. It's really balanced. It's smoky. It's, it's a little peppery. A little peppery. It it goes down quite easy. It has a sweetness, but it's not too sweet. It has that warmth of a whiskey does in your chest. Which this is, is pretty damn good. And we're not, like, obviously the people that judge whiskey companies. Exactly. Like, we're not, like, no. spit it out. We are, <laughs> we are trailer park trash uh, compared to those folks. Well, I'm Irish, so I have some qualifications. Well, I have, I have a little uh, shut Irish up. in me, too. Shut up. Um, so, like, <laughs> this is just, mm, does that taste good? Yeah, that tastes good. I must say. I'm not a sommelier. <laughs> no, I must say that if I wanted, so I, I, I doubt I'll ever find a whiskey more drinkable and enjoyable for me just on a daily basis to just have some whiskey than Jameson. Yeah. I just, it is, it is by far this one though, if I was inviting people over yeah. and I really, or if I wanted to gift a whiskey to someone that it really, I wanted them to be impressed. Yeah. This is impressive. It's good flavor. I really like this a lot. See, like Jameson is one, it's my favorite. Just, it's just, there's better whiskeys. Correct. Like in terms of like but higher class, just, but in terms of like just drinking, you could mix it, you could do whatever you want with it. Agreed. It's so versatile. It's so delicious. It's delicious. Um, it's my staple whiskey. Um, I'm with you. I don't go lower than Jameson. Like I don't go to Jack Daniels. I, I, I don't go to. The only time I've ever gone to Jack Daniels is when I really wanted some whiskey and I didn't have a lot of time and there was no Jameson there. And so I just got a tiny little thing yeah. of Jack to have something. So I. The, it also, Jack works well in like just if you yeah. want to have a Jack and Coke. This. I'm sure it would be delicious in a Jack and Coke, but I'm not I sure wouldn't I would mix this. this. I wouldn't mix this. This there's is too, too, much, too, too good much on its own. There's too much going on. It is um, very much like a scotch in that it's just, it doesn't take me on the journey a scotch takes me, but no. it's still really, really nice that I wouldn't want to dilute it with anything. It'd be interesting to see what difference it makes when you when you put it on ice over time as you're yeah. sipping it. Um, and I'm wondering like if this one in like its price range, obviously. So like I'm sure there's this tastes way more expensive than a thousand dollar whiskey. Yeah, that would probably be a thousand percent better. Uh, and I've tasted whiskeys that I think are better um, in terms of, but they're like ex crazy expensive whiskeys um, <laughs> or scotches. Yeah, scotches as well. Like, That's a this whole different is, category. This though. is better than say a young, like an eight year old or a twelve year old Macallan. Mm -hmm. I like this better. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite tasty. I'm really nice. I'm glad it, because it, sometimes obviously stuff will win awards and it's because the hoity toities, right? Like they're like, oh, this has such complexity, but it tastes like dirt. Or <laughs> it's like, oh, such a complex and dirt it is flavor. Just straight up, it's gold, man. The color on that well, thing well, that's is a color of just beautiful gold. Why is it? Um, what language is that? Because that looks more kind of Chinese than. It looks. It says Rajasthan, right? Is when it was uh, barley hand picked in probably, Rajasthan. It's odd because I'm used to seeing, for example, where's most the, Indian where's languages the, being. Where's this? Where's river? the Yamuna River? I'm used to seeing most Indian languages go, you know, horizontal. Yeah. What language is that on the bottle there? Um, no color added. That's good. Ninety-two proof. 
Smell, taste, touch, sight, sound. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so the name... Did you read that in the thing? Which? The five... Uh, the Indria? Yeah. Indri in Sanskrit refers to the five senses in Indria. My suspicion then is that Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Yeah. Okay. That would be my suspicion. That would that would make sense. And it would make sense that I mean, I haven't done this yet. Hold on, I need to touch oh, it. Oh, it's like the ocean. I need to touch it. You did when it went in your mouth, Corbin. Yeah. You do that often? Yeah, the uh <laughs> the discharge on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is impressive. I'm very happy because you're this right. This is not a sponsored review. Just because by the way. we don't just, do those. We don't do that. Just because a uh, you know any kind of a a drink or spirit is is expensive or wins an award doesn't mean it's no. worth anything. Yeah, I would have to try the uh, the other ones too. Like, it's all it's all what your personal palate and also really likes. Normal people's palates are not people that judge whiskey <laughs> palates. At just all. like my brother is a sommelier, and so what he likes is it's not what everybody different. else likes. His palate is insane because that's what he does for a living. Well, and he's hoity toity. Even an, even a sommelier, they could differentiate and say what they say is a better kind of a wine, but it may not be the one that they have as their go to drink. Exactly that they enjoy. Exactly. So, um, but yeah, that impressive. Absolutely delicious. Impressive. Uh, let us if you've tried it before. Obviously, let us know what you thought about it. And um, what is the cost of this bad boy yeah. in India, guys? I, I would hope it's not that expensive. On Twitter, I I did not encounter one person, I believe, that had tried it before. So I'm assuming it's more of like an expensive in My, India. If it's fifty five oh. here, granted the tax on it, right? Yeah, well, it wouldn't have an import tax, tax yeah. there. But if that bad boy is, you know, t two thousand rupees, because a bottle of Jameson, this bottle of Jameson, same size, I believe, was like forty bucks. I think. Yeah, I think this is about forty bucks, roughly. But no, I mean, they're actually. No, that's a smaller one. That would be closer on sale. Like that would be closer to like twenty two, twenty three. The small I, bottles I are like twenty two, twenty three. I don't remember what it the, was. The bigger size bottles, the, like that size, would be comparable. It'd be like forty bucks. Gotcha. Yeah, as would really nice tequilas. Like Casamigos Rapasado is a really nice tequila. And it's about the same price as this. Um, but that, that was delicious. If you tried it, let us know what you thought about it. And yeah. um Congratulations. Congrats, know, India. Some of you probably had no idea. <laughs> but congratulations. <laughs> Corbin just wanted an excuse to drink in the morning. Yep. Just.